The New York Post is reporting that Hillary Clinton sported a $12,000 Armani jacket at an event in New York. So it was in April, and during that event, she spoke mostly about income inequality and economic disparity. The price of the jacket is roughly 40% of what the average American worker makes in a year. Median income for U.S. workers in 2014 was just under $31,000. Actor, singer, Trump supporter Robert Davi is with me now from L.A. Robert, welcome back. We are delighted to see you. Even if you don't Thanks. support Hillary, which clearly you don't, where is her team on this? I'm just talking strategy. You cannot speak about well, first, income inequality and, and economic disparity in a $12,000 jacket. Well, first of all, thank you for having me, and it's good to see you, uh, uh, Deidre. The... Uh, thing about the jacket now, I think it was insensitive of her to do a, a speech talking about income inequality in that jacket. Now, celebrities, it's known that you can get from different designers jackets. So, to, you know, who knows if she really paid for it or if it was given to her as a loan out or just as a gift. Uh, because if a celebrity wears that, and she's very uh, celebrated, of course, uh, around the world, and you get pictures taken, it helps sales of the product. So that's that a good said, point and a good perspective because we know what happens for the Oscars. So I hear what you're saying. And actually, Basil Smeichel, who's a Democratic strategist, said, you don't know, maybe she got it at an outlet. Maybe this is bulk shopping. But it just is bad It's still optics. insensitive. Yeah. It's still insensitive to absolutely go there when people, you know, are struggling to buy food and pay their rent and their water bills and their electric bills. I mean, to go in there with an Armani jacket, it, it just goes to show you that the politicians, especially the Democratic Party, I feel, are more like the Politburo of uh, the commissars of uh, old Soviet Union, uh, where there was the insensitive to the, to the populace. While they were speaking a populist message, they, they were insensitive, really, to the working class. So is this one of the reasons that you support Donald Trump? There are a lot of people who say, love him or hate him, Sanders and Donald Trump are the two candidates connecting the best with voters about jobs and their opportunities. Absolutely. I mean, let's take it down the line, uh, Deidre. First off, Donald Trump, as we talked about once before, the Walmart rink. We need someone in office who know, understands the rebuilding the infrastructure of America and can look at a budget and look at a situation and say, we're getting ripped off here, we're getting ripped off there, the military is spending too much money on this, knowing how to cut costs effectively and then uh, being very efficient at it. So that's number one. We need someone that understands that finally and not filling the pockets of special interests. Secondly, his policies on immigration. And as controversial as it might be and the hot button that it all talks about, we need to take care of immigration. I've been talking about this since 2010. The, they've been kicking the ball down the field for how long? And how long are they going to continue to do that? So here we have someone, a candidate, who takes a hard stand, tells, I want to do something about immigration, gives us a broad plan, a bold color about what we have to do. Then you have our uh, national security. You know, in terms of letting people in here from different parts of the world until we can vet who they are. And it goes on down the line. So uh, it's, it's a particular thinking, and it's a particular way of, I feel, America first. All right. Uh, that, that's, uh, this country has been neglected for so long. So, Robert, I want to ask you, because you are in L.A., we know that numerous female celebrities were on stage in support of Hillary Clinton. When you speak with the community there in Hollywood, which most people assume is fairly liberal, do you think that there are closet Trump voters, people who aren't talking about it, but tonight in the primary will vote for him? I believe so. Uh, I, I do know firsthand that there are. Now, they may not necessarily be the above the line people, a lot of the big stars that you might see at a a Hillary fundraiser and, and uh, the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, because her list is but Elizabeth many... Banks, Deborah Messing, Sally Field, Sophia Bush. I mean, there were a lot of, of people there uh, basically backing her and being vocal about it. Yes, but there are a lot of people quietly not backing her. A lot of people that want an alternative choice, and some of them, and a lot of them are going with Donald Trump. As a matter of fact, I find, Deidre, that most of the people below the line, the workers, the cameramen, the grips, the makeup artists. A lot of those people are the ones that are going for Trump, for Donald Trump. And uh, 
That's always been. You know, they, they were the ones that went for, for Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, when he ran, he had a few big stars uh, that were uh, for him, and then quite a few of the, the foundation of Hollywood was really supportive of, of uh, Ronald Reagan. And I find the same thing with Donald Trump. He's a man who speaks for the people, uh, unfiltered, whether you like it or not. And uh, I think a lot of the controversy that I find the media and also the politicians make about statements of his are really much ado about nothing. They should be talking about why we can't see the emails that Hillary Clinton has on TPP. Why the or State why Department it's take just said, "Seventy-five years to look at them." Yes. All right, Robert. Right. Why can't we see them? You know, I mean, it's, it's so many ridiculous things that uh, they overlook and they pick apart stuff that's really, you know, uh, it, does, it makes no sense to me. Robert, we thank you as always. We like your hat. <laughs> Robert Dowie. Yes. With me I can't there. There it is. Here it is. We like it. All <laughs> I right, voted. sir. Thanks for the time. <laughs> Thank From you. Los Angeles, Thank you, Robert Dowie with me there.